everybody! So today I am filming a kitchen cabinet organization. <laughs> Why am I doing that? <laughs> today I am filming a kitchen cabinet organization video. I got a ton of bins and stuff from the Dollar Tree. If you didn't catch that Dollar Tree haul, I will link it in the description box and up in the cards as always. So I am ready. This is going to be one of the harder organization actually probably the hardest out of all four organization videos. If you didn't catch the other two organization videos, the pantry organization and the kitchen drawer organization, I will also link those in the cards in the description box throughout this video. But if you are ready for part three and you saw the first two parts and you saw the haul, then let's get rolling. So to give you an overview of what we're working with, this is the cabinet, well, one of them. Can you even tell all that's in there? No, me either. So there's that. Then there is this one. Again, it's not terrible, but it's not very functional either. And last is this cabinet, which has all of our spices. There's going to be a ton of expired spices in there. That is all of our pasta, rice, and lentils, stuff like that. Again, just need to really combine stuff. Let's get started.
finished product. We have a much more organized spice rack. And then up here we have pasta, more pasta. We eat a lot of pasta. <laughs> uh, grains like rice and quinoa up in there. Some taco shells and lentils and some bagged spices on the side. Then up here, this looks so much better it's not even funny. We have a snack that just has little like bags of popcorn and pita chips, breakfast, drinks, um, oatmeal, and there's pop tarts back there as well. Oatmeal, a little thing of apples. And then my label maker ran out of labels, so I will label this later, but this has peanut butter, there's tortilla chips here, more breakfast drinks. That just has a bunch of miscellaneous stuff like syrup, walnuts, croutons, etc. There's some crunchy onion things back there, mixed nuts, and one sweet potato. All right, everybody, so that is it for this video. You might notice I changed my shirt. I got super hot <laughs> after doing all that organizing and the sweater was not cutting it. So that's why I'm wearing a different shirt through half of this video. <laughs> but I am super, super happy with the results. It was extremely cluttered before. There was just stuff stacked on top of stuff and you couldn't tell where anything was. Now everything is in bins and baskets and it's most of it is labeled. My label maker ran out of labels so I labeled what I could and there's just so much more space. It is amazing. Honestly a lot of what like the problem was was just how our cabinets are sized. They go very far back and that is not ideal, at least in my opinion. It is just, it pretty much just allows you to make a giant mess, and we do. <laughs> make sure to go and check out the other two videos of the organization series of the kitchen. They are so satisfying. If you need motivation to clean and organize your kitchen, I am rolling out videos just for you. Next, I will have a fridge organization video up next week. And I know you guys will absolutely love it. It is the last part of the kitchen organization series. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye!
Thank <laughs> you.